Uh, no, I think Manchester United reserves would have been the one that I'd like to, to have, to be honest with you. But um, it's great because um, it's another one of these games that um, our city, our supporters, and, and certainly myself, um, really looked forward to coming down. Um, you know, one of the, the best teams in Europe in the history that's attached to them. Um, so them coming to the stadium on, on Saturday is, um, is another uh, reason for our fans to turn out in numbers and enjoy um, sorry, Sunday, and enjoy the game. Um, we are r relishing it, looking forward to it, um, and under um, no illusions as to how uh, tough a game it's going to be against them. We've already done it against more Manchester side, and I mean, bearing in mind the changes that have happened with this mm -hmm. Manchester United, it must give you a sense of, yeah, there, there are opportunities here, you know, there, there are things we can exploit here. Um, I, I think. People look for flaws. Um, there's obviously there was a change in management at the start of the season, and, and uh, people immediately look for uh, for headlines and flaws. Um, but I think what they've, they've got is a, a very good, experienced manager um, who's settling into his job. Um, and I think in the last few weeks, um, you've seen his team click. So, um, as you said yourself, sometimes timing's not quite right. But um, we know we've got a tough team coming that are packed full of quality, and we've got to deal with that and adapt. Um, well, it's, that's every week in the division, to be honest with you. We're playing against uh, the next level up and, and uh, talented players who are, are world class. That's every week in this division and it's, that's, something, that's a challenge in itself. And that's, that's something that I'm revelling in, um, tactically coming up against the best managers in, in, in Europe. Um, my players should be revelling in the fact that they're coming up against some of the best players in Europe. Um, so. That in itself is something that you have to um, make sure that, that um, we, we are aware of. But it's something that, that um, we're enjoying, and it's something that we work um, we work hard on every week. So Manchester United um, just fit into um, the model that I've got going forward this season, um, like every other team has, um, knowing that um, the strengths and weaknesses of them um, are, are certainly the strengths are, are, are massive, um, and the weaknesses are few. Hearing from Andreas this week, obviously back playing again, mm. he's keen to be featuring son on Sunday. Is that a realistic possibility? Um, he'll be in the squad. He's back training with us. Um, he played 60 minutes in a, a reserve game last week, um, and he'll need more football. But he's back in the squad, which is good, and he's back around the first team players and back um, in with a normal training group, which is great for the lad because he's it's it's confidence. As I say, he's 20 years old, so he's a he's a he's a young boy. Um, but there's a lot of potential there um, for the years to come going forward for Cardiff City. Um, we've signed the Young Player of the Year in Denmark, which is a, um, a, a great accolade personally for him that I'm delighted about that he got last week. Um, and it shows you how revered he is in his home nation um, and how much potential they see. Um, you know, you look at Christian Eriksen, who's just gone for £10 million to, to Tottenham and is a top, top player. Well, he at one point was the Young Player of the Year in Denmark. So um, that's what we've got, but um, it's about um, him finding his feet at the football club over a period of time, not not someone that comes in and hits the ground immediately running. Mark, it's often said there's a certain fraternity among Scottish managers, and you, you've talked before about uh, tapping into the wisdom of Alex Ferguson. Tell me about your relationship with David Moyes. I know you've, you've tried to tap into his wisdom before. Tell, tell me a little bit. Yeah, I don't know him that well, I have to say, but um, we were at the Scottish Pro Licence um, with Jim Fleeting a couple of years ago down, um, and, and part of it was that we were guests of David Moyes down at Everton. Fifteen Scottish coaches, managers went down there and spent a weekend with him. Um, we watched the game and then were invited to training ground the following day where we were shown around, had a nice bit of lunch and then had a couple of hours question and answer in a, in a session with him that was private enclosed and very open and honest and uh, he was he was absolutely fantastic it's about five years ago I think um, and I, I you know couldn't get enough of it I thought he was he was um, the way he carried himself the way he spoke passionately about football but the way he talked about management as well it was something that um, you know I, I really took a lot of things from um, and was was honored and humbled that he, he allowed us not only the access but the the openness to 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 him um, because you know it was I think it was a it was a private discussion but he was very open and very honest and the way that he dealt with certain situations and certain times at Everton um, and we were we were you know we were very grateful to to that happening so um, that's a little insight into a, a top manager at the time who's then going on obviously to to take one of the biggest jobs in the world.
And have you seen him put his stamp on things more so in the last three or four weeks uh, in terms of the way that they've been playing, the results that they've been achieving? Um, I think I think you probably start over the first over this first year. I think more than anything. I think initially you, you know he's going into something. He's going into a, a well-oiled machine to start with. So let's not kid ourselves. He's going into something that's um, that, that wasn't broken. Um, but I think they've um, you know reading Sir Alex's book when you know when they talked about him sitting down with um, the Glazers and um, David Gill to discuss the the future um, manager. Um, certain criteria was needed, um, and I think they've absolutely got that in, in David Moyes in terms of a, a long-term strategy and a long-term a man that, that they feel um, is beholden to the, the title of manager of Manchester United for a long time. Um, so I, I think David will, over time, um, the team will adapt and evolve the way he wants it. Um, he's in the door two minutes at the moment, and uh, but like anything Manchester United you have to win it doesn't matter but settling in time you have to win 